Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Camilla aka Kami Simming and welcome to this new spread build. Before we say anything about the house or the family or anything, I wanted to point out something that maybe you wouldn't even notice, but maybe some of you would, so I assume it would be annoying for those of you who would notice. So yeah, um, <laughs> this disclaimer that I'm trying to make is that I'm sorry because um, the image, like the, the screen recording is cropped. I don't know why, because I didn't change the settings, at least not at this point, like in OBS or whatever, but lately I've been kind of playing around with the different um, yeah, settings and things in OBS, so yeah, that's, that, that could be why this video here is cropped, I'm sorry, but you can see like the main part of what's happening on the screen, so it shouldn't be so um, annoying, but if it is, I'm sorry. Anyway, as you can see, we are building in Oasis Springs today on a 50 by 40, I guess. I, I think it is a 50 by 40. Um, it's been a kind of a long time since I built this, so... But yeah, um, we're building on a 50 by 40 in the upper left corner of the map where the Caliente family lives. And of course, this is, as you probably saw from the title, um, the Caliente's family home. So the home that I intend to give them for my save file. And as it happened Monday on Monday with the God family, I changed the lot they usually are on, like it's not the 30 by 20 they use, usually live on because, I don't know, it was small, I wanted to give this family kind of a, a bigger house because like I figured they are kind of a, an important family so I wanted to give them like the room that they deserve but um, in the end I ended up like kind of regretting this decision because um, of course, when I want to build something for a household that's like of pre-made sims, like of townies or yeah, sims that I didn't create myself, I of course go to the sims wiki or on the web in general and look for the household and, and look at its traits, like the different traits of every component of the family, of every member of the family, and I try to like represent their traits or their hobbies, their passions, their jobs into the house that I'm building. And this time I had so much trouble like actually finding something to put in this house, which was so like frustrating at one point because I was like, yeah, let's give the Caliente a huge house. And then I was like, I went to see their traits and there was no book lover no computer whiz or whatever it is um there were there were no like interesting traits interesting i mean what i mean by interesting is that like something that i could portray in the house it like there was nothing that i could work with like only later i saw that uh katrina is like works as a comedian so i kind of added an, a musical instrument and some other random stuff but yeah, for the most part of the video, of the build, I was so sad because I had this huge house and I didn't know how to fill it with. And so basically I kind of made this house into a perfect party house. Um, kind of like a pool party or a DJ booth kind of party, not like the classy party that the goths would host. It's kind of a different um, gathering, if I can say it. Um, but you will see, like, there's kind of um, a play room or play terrace at the right side, on the right side of the house. Uh, looking at it from the front, we have a DJ booth that I will add, like, at the very last minute because I was working on the terrace upstairs and. <laughs> I didn't know what to put there either, so yeah, I put a DJ booth and I thought it was like it made some kind of sense So it wasn't like too out of place there and I also decided that Dina is into yoga and the wellness skill so I gave it I gave her like um, Some level of it. I don't, don't remember maybe three or four and I gave her like a nook in the backyard with some meditation stuff, um, just like a mat and then a stool on the on the terrace, like on the second floor. 
but yeah, um, talking about um, technical uh, details, this house ends up having two living rooms, four bathrooms if I'm not wrong, and three bedrooms. One for Don and Katrina, one for Dina and one for Nina. And every bedroom has its own ensuite. So on the second floor, we don't have an actual bathroom, like an open, like a bathroom that everyone can reach. It's just there are there are the three en suites and we have another bathroom, half bathroom on the first floor. And we also have a little, little, very tiny, like three by one laundry room, um, just because I had so much trouble with the living room. So I had to close the space off a little bit and I thought, why not? Let's hide in a laundry nook. You'll see that, no, I cut like most of it out because I swear it was like 10 minutes of actual footage, like sped up footage. It was so much time. I spent ages on this freaking living room because I didn't know how to, do, how to lay the objects. Like it wasn't like a problem of creativity or anything, it was just a layout problem because the room is very weird, it has some weird bump outs and some weird nooks and crannies and we have two archways on the back and they aren't like in a straight angle, they are on a... one of them is on a diagonal and the other one is not so it was so hard and so I like... for once, like at first I closed that little room on the left as you can see here and, that, and then I began the rug uh, mess and the rug indec indecisiveness because uh, that rug, the blue rug that I had there before, like kind of threw me off because it was huge and it dictated the shape of the room and it wasn't like the shape that I wanted and it was a, a whole ordeal but then as you can see now I'm kind of I'm kind of um, taking some of the space away with this console, like with this unit, built-in unit here, and I use it to place a, a stereo, and then I created some, like a couple more of these built-in units. One, one of them is like also here in the living room, and the other one is uh, in the other living room where the TV is. It's like the, the TV console table, if that a thing I think it should be um, but yeah and so but you can you cannot imagine how much how long it took me to to come to get to this result that you're seeing now on screen like it was so easy to, to watch it it went by in I don't know one two minutes and I was there for ages literally ages and it's not like I'm pretty straightforward when it comes to building like I'm just yeah I want this I want this color here so let's grab this or maybe I'm kind of indecisive and then I come back and I can lay the furniture out like place the furniture but this time was so hard and it was like I think the hardest thing the hardest room that I ever had to to furnish and maybe I don't know why maybe if I went there on another day it would be it would have been different I don't know but yeah, um, that day, I don't know, it felt hard. I also, of course, forgot to hit record when I was decorating the second living room. So you saw it coming together very, very quickly because I knew already where the furniture was gonna go. So I just deleted it and replaced it very quickly for you guys to kind of see um, everything coming together and not just a, a ready full furnished room. And yeah. And I also decorated the downstairs bathroom, which I was so sad that it wasn't like, like that it didn't get recorded because it was so cute in my opinion. I I thought it was so nice and very luxurious also, but with that Mediterranean twist that uh, the whole house has. And here, as you can see, we are decorating uh, Dina Ni Dina's room, I think. Um, I always confuse the two of them. Yes, it's Dina. Um, well, she's like the most girly um, person in the family, so her bedroom was very like, mm, I don't know, fun to make. It's very girly, very pink, very stereotypically, um, yeah, girly. How, much, how many times can I say girly in 20 seconds? But yeah, that's how I would describe it. And I also gave, of course, the house, the whole household, a makeover, and she is, I think, 
so much cuter now and also Nina I changed her very like drastically I think she is the same that changed the most um, after my makeovers because I gave her a uh, very short hair um, a very cool look very like uh, strong tough girl kind of look and also kind of uh, a tomboy kind of look I don't know if that's the right word um, I would like describe it describe her that way but I don't know um, maybe when you will see my sims you will let me know if that's the right term because I didn't I don't want to offend anyone but yeah anyway her room was very fun to make also um, a bit more interesting um, she is the one that's kind of more interesting yeah I'm repeating myself so much today but yeah she is she is a villain like she works as a um, how is it called a criminal and she has also like an aspiration that's um that leans toward the, the crime and mischief and being a mean person so yeah she, her room was fun to make i didn't like overly mm, decorated it with some very clear thief items oh my god <laughs> this sentence i don't know but just like with a PC and uh, nothing too crazy. I didn't want to put that bag of cash under her um, desk because I thought that Katrina could have questions about it. And yeah, this is the master suite and the master bathroom, which is so nice. I would love to have a bathroom like that with the shower and tub tucked away in a separate kind of area there. And also the bathroom has the, its own balcony, which I thought was so luxurious and I kind of forgot about it until the screenshots. So yeah, um, I realized actually a bunch of stuff when I was taking the screenshots, like I was missing a lot of stuff still, some decorations and I kept on like taking the front, the facade screenshot and then I was looking at it, I was like, oh my god, the front balcony doesn't have anything on it and I was like, I would place down things and then I took another screenshot and then I realized it was missing something else. Yeah, it was, it was a very weird build, like it came together in a very weird way, this one. Uh, so yeah, I hope you are enjoying it so far and of course I also had troubles with the stairs uh, because I, they didn't work, I had to reload the lot to make them work, I don't know. Um, and basically from now on I will be focusing on the backyard and on the landscaping in general, both on the front and on the back. I used a kind of like some debug but not much just for the fence and the quote marks fence, um, the brick stone wall on the back and also for some plants but nothing too overpowering. I actually it's been a long time since I used such like a, a large amount of actual landscaping that we have in game and not debug because usually lately I'm I go for, for debug landscaping and the front is very lush very green but with a ton of flowers and rocks I gave them a pond just like I don't know to show off to um, to show people how luxurious the Calientes are even though I think they're kind of a negative household, like a, neg a negative family in my opinion, like they don't give me like good vibes, they give me some kind of selfish, negative, um, superficial vibes, which is not the best. Um, I don't know if I'm the only one, if they're supposed to be this way or maybe if you have another opinion on them. So if you do, please like tell me in the comments because I'm so curious. Because I don't know, like sims are just sims. I don't know how they give a vibe because you are the person who's creating the vibe by playing with them. So it's weird like that we have different opinions on the same sims. And so I would like to know if you have the same opinion as I, as I do. And yeah, so I don't know, I think that's also why I was kind of uh, angry at the fact that they lack hobbies and passions because they are, they're not giving the best vibe to me. So on top of that, they didn't have anything to work with um, from my point of view at least. So it was very, a very weird position, like a very weird situation to build them a house. The only one that I like actually is Nina 
I think she's kind of cute, kind of um, nice. She's the only one that gives me kind of like um, a pretty dumb girl, but then like that means no harm, um, that kind of girl, if that's a kind. I don't know. But yeah, as you can see, the backyard is slowly coming together. I will add a hot tub, an outdoor dining space, a grill, of course, so, uh, the loungers there, um, a basketball hoop, and as I told you, the meditation stuff for uh, Nina or Dina. I Dina, I think it's Dina, the young... I don't know. Are they twins? Because I was reading their wiki page and in The Sims 2, I think, or I don't know what sims uh, game they like they were twins i read it i read it somewhere i don't know but i didn't know it like we don't know about twins in the sims 4 like there's not if you don't create them you don't know if two sims two siblings are actually twins because yeah there's not written anywhere that the that dina and nina are, are more than just two siblings then I think they are twins. I don't know. Um, yeah, that's a very deep um, comment and opinion on a very simple matter. But tell me if they're supposed to be twins. I'm really interested in knowing that. Um, and yeah, I think um, we are basically done with everything. So, I mean, there's still some, some stuff to do, but I think I'm gonna wrap up this voiceover here. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and this rambly voiceover, but I think you're like used to it by now. Um, if you did like the video, please make sure to leave a like, a comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will see you all in my next video and have a great day. Bye everybody.